So guys, welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. So last time we started the game, we started our journey here in this Pokemon world and we got our first Pokemon, our friend Pikachu. So we are actually going to live the life, the journey of Ash Ketchup that Ketchum, sorry, I think it was name. What was his name? Ketchup or Ketchum? Ketchup cannot be a name. It should be Ketchum, right? Yeah, anyway, Ash. Ash would suffice. So yeah, we are going to live his journey uh, here. And uh, I would actually try to catch Pokemon that he had caught, probably. Uh, not all of them, but uh, that would take time. But uh, starting with Pikachu, and I would... Before you, before you hate me, I would... I should say that, of course, there are better Pokemon maybe which could replace them uh, in this game. Like, you could probably ca uh, catch an Eevee and, uh, you know, get an Eevee and evolve it into a Jolteon. But uh, I think I'll stick with Pikachu just for the reason being this Pikachu is actually a bit stronger than the other Pikachus that you see in this game or other games. Just because this is Ash's Pikachu, so this is actually a bit stronger so it's worth it I would say um, playing with this Pikachu I have done it before I've done with Jolteon as well but just for the sake of playing it like Ash I would just stick with this Pikachu also um, just like as I said just same goes for other Pokemon I would probably like to catch uh, or have Charizard maybe a Snorlax um, what else? A Lapras. So these are some of the Pokemon that would be really helpful being in the in my team, right? Uh, Blastoise, Venusaur, I'm not really sure, but um, we'll see how it goes. So without further ado, let's get started. So this time, we don't have anything else to do in Pallet Town. So we go ahead up in up to Viridian City. Okay, wild Pokemon. So, one more thing is... Uh, okay, there's a level 3 Rattata, I guess. Level 4, okay. So, one more thing is, you need to fight in this game a lot. Like, you need to fight wild Pokemon a lot. Uh, the reason being, uh, that's the only way you can level up your Pokemon, right? So, as you see, fighting takes some time. So, what I would do is, I would actually fight Pokemon... In my free time you know offline and oh god I'll in my free time I'll fight this Pokemon and level up so that uh, they don't take uh, much of my video time and you don't need to just sit through watch me fight this Pokemon so that would be helpful I guess so yeah that is what I would do and um, Okay, this is done. Okay, so... Um, okay, we are... Okay, we are not there yet. Oh, this is so much grass. Okay, no more Pokemon, I guess. Nice. So we are in Viridian City. And I would just heal up my Pokemon once. heal them so um, what I would do for this video I guess I'll just explore Viridian City I'll because it's still you know the initial few videos so I'll heal up here okay healing is done so that's the Pokemon Center and yes this is a Viridian City the eternally green paradise nice so let's see, we're back here in the Pokemon Mart. Hi there, may I help you? Bye. Take your time. So we have Pokeballs. And wait a second, do we have Pokeballs already with us? We don't, so it's always good to, you know, buy some Pokeballs. I would maybe buy, at the moment, maybe five of them. Yes. And then we have potions. Potions also, maybe we have two already, but well, 
doesn't hurt. So just five of them. Yes. Yes. Antidote, paralyze heal. So antidote is obviously as the name suggests if your Pokemon is poisoned. And what I mean by poison you will get to know shortly. So it just heals that. If your Pokemon is paralyzed you could probably... I don't know. I think the last video my Pokemon Pikachu had paralyzed Eevee. Uh, Gary's Eevee when he fought uh, him. So that's paralysis. So, so in paralyzed obviously they cannot use any attacks. Uh, chances of using the attacks are really less and this actually heals the paralysis. Burn heal, a Pokemon can get burned from fire moves and this heals that. Simple. Nothing. Okay, nothing else. You can talk to anyone there. I'm not talking at the moment. So let's just see what else is here. So oh, I'm trying to memorize all my notes. Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't want to go out. Sis says Pokemon will become tame if you treat them nicely. Okay, let's see how our Pikachu is doing. Well, it's still a bit indifferent, but not bad. Okay, be sure to read the blackboard carefully. Okay, so I remember this part. This part is actually really good if you are just a starter. Like, if you are starting Pokemon, it's really good. The blackboard describes Pokemon status changes during the battles. This is what I was talking about just now. So let's talk about PSN, which is poison, as I said. So when poisoned, a Pokemon's health steadily drops. Poison lingers after battles. Use an antidote to cure poison. That's what we talked about. PAR is paralysis, so paralysis could make Pokemon moves misfire. So paralysis remains after battles. Use Paralyze Hill to, you know, for treatment. Good. Next we have BRN, which is Burn. So Burn reduces power and speed. It also causes ongoing damage. Burns remain after battles. Use Burn Heal to cure a burn. So all these were available in the Pokemon Mart, except for these two conditions, which is SLP, Sleep. So Pokemon can't attack if it's asleep. Pokemon will stay asleep even after battles. Use Awakening to wake them up. And FRZ is freezed or frozen. If frozen, a Pokemon becomes totally immobile. Or immobile, I don't know how to pronounce that. It stays frozen even after the battle ends. Use Ice Heal to thaw out Pokemon. So these two, Ice Heal and Awakening, are not yet available in the Pokemon market probably will see them later on in game so this is actually really helpful uh, for new gamers of Pokemon and I guess that is what we have here there's nothing this side let's see it here ah I've had my coffee now and I feel great Sure, you can go through. I'm sorry, I was so rude to you. I see you're using a Pokedex. I'll show you how to catch Pokemon as an apolog apology. Okay, apology. Apology. Okay, so this grandpa is going to show us how to catch a Pokemon. He used a Pokeball. Well, we had actually, you know, apparently seen how to catch a Pokemon. That didn't work. I must be losing my touch. I've run out of Pokeballs too. I have to get some at Pokemon Mart. There you go. So that was our grandpa who actually, we did not meet him before but if we had met him so he would not have let us go. My daddy loves Pokemon too. Okay. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but hard. Simple names are the easiest to remember. This is a Pokemon. Speary. So that's Spearow, I guess. Tweet Tweet. Or Titweet. We'll meet Spearows a lot. In fact, we'll meet one of them soon. You will see. Um, okay, we'll go this side. And here. There is a gym. 
Radian City Pokemon Gym. This Pokemon Gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. So we cannot fight that leader at the moment. So if we go this way... The gym's doors are locked. Okay, so we cannot go there. So probably leave it for, you know, later on. We just found potion. Oh, we found a potion. I didn't know there was a potion here. I just thought this tree looks different. So these are the trees which can be cut. And we'll again get to that later on. Trainer tips. Catch Pokemon and expand your collection. The more you have, the easier it is to fight. Yeah, that's true. Route 2, Radiant City to Pewter City. Okay. Pewter City, so if you remember from the anime, if you have seen the anime and remember, Pewter City is the city where we have our first gym and it's Brock. Yes, Brock, the person who will generally accompany us later on in our journey. I mean, with Ash, but not with us. He's just a gym leader here. And nothing here, yeah, nothing here. So, what do we have? We just have Sparky. Hmm. As long as I, as far as I remember, if I go left, Gary shows up again and he tries to battle us. So, f for that, I think our Pokemon is a bit low level so what I would do is I'll just quickly battle um, a bit in the tall grasses and uh, level up and then come back so I'll just quickly battle and come back soon so see you there okay guys so we are back and uh, I had leveled Pikachu or Sparky um, um, up to level 9 and with this battle he should level up to level 10 yep there you go he's up to level 10 and if you see here he has better stats obviously and he has learned thunder wave so thunder wave is actually another electric type move but it does not attack enemies with the electric type it tries to paralyze them it paralyzes the pokemon so that's also also you know really um helpful very handy so we'll just quickly heal our pokemon after all the battles that we had and we'll go left left of viridian city and if i'm not wrong as i said we'll probably meet gary again for our second battle so let's see okay this area this is not the right way I think the way is that side. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, I really don't want to fight wild Pokemon. Yep, there he is. Hey, Zeus! You're going to Pokemon League? Okay, so yes, this is the way to Pokemon League, actually. The fight fighting me champion. But uh, we are not going there. I am just roaming here. So, forget it, you probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? And there you go. He tries to battle us. And he has got, yeah, I remember, he has got two Pokemon. You can see here, there are two Pokeballs for him and just one for us. So, let's see, one would be his EV, the other one is Spiro great level 9 that's good but um, as I said spear is a bird just like PG and it's really weak against electric type so this should be easy yep critical hit 
super effective. And it fainted. We gained 111 experience points. That's awesome. Eevee. So... Huh. You know what? Let's go with the Thunder Wave just to show you guys how Thunder Wave is. The same thing, but now it's paralyzed. And it still tackled me. Great. Thunder Shock. My defense fell. What about the paralyze? I mean, why is it not? It should affect his. Ah, uh, see, it could not. It could not attack that time. So that's the paralysis thing. Use thunder shock again, and there you go. One fifty-seven points. So we should get. Uh, level 11, right? No? Oh. Oh, you just lucked out. We got 280. That's good. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. And there he goes. Okay, so let's see what's actually here. Um, there's some grass. Oh, not good, not good. Okay, that's good. <laughs> um, so we can actually go this way. Pokemon League front gate. And... There, this is the Pokemon League entrance. So if we go here... Only truly skilled trainers are allowed through. You don't have the boulder badge yet. The rules are rules. I can't let you pass. Okay, so there will be eight guards uh, who will check eight of our badges if we have them all. And only then will we be able to, you know, go to the Elite Four challenges. Okay, so now that we cannot go any further. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon real fast. Wait, it was here. Oh, why did I come down? Anyway. So the next Pokemon that we should, um, you know, catch, or officially the first Pokemon we would catch, is a temporary Pokemon, just for the first gym. The first gym is uh, Brock's gym in Pewter City, which uh, where we will go, but I'll probably battle him in the next video, um, because that would be a bit longer video, right? So, that is actually not needed, I would say, at this moment. So, Viridian City to Puracy. So, this is Route 2. So, we'll go through Route 2 here. As you see. Uh, okay, probably better to go this way. I'm trying to avoid the tall grass at the moment because I want to battle the tall grass Pokemon, you know, later on. Uh, offline as we said are you going to Viridian forest be careful it's a natural maze you have to roam far to get new kinds of Pokemon look for other types outside of Viridian forest yep we know okay so this is Viridian forest we can Pokemon before attempting capture when healthy they may escape I came here with some friends. They're out for Pokemon fights. Okay, so that means we will have a lot of Pokemon fights here with trainers. And I think that would be it uh, for this video. And the, I'll cover the Viridian Forest in the next video. And probably then I'll make uh, my way towards Pewter City to challenge Brock. 
And uh, the thing what I was going to say about Brock is Brock uses rock type Pokemon on which uh, electricity does not does have no effect whatsoever. So Pikachu will be, you know, more or less useless in that fight. So for that fight especially, I would be needing to capture a different Pokemon, which is a fighting type Pokemon. And we'll get to that when we come back next time in Pokemon Yellow. So that would be it for this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. And with that being said, thank you very much. I wish you all the all a very good day ahead. Uh, take care of each other, be nice to each other, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!